Today is the day. After contemplating, meditating, and convincing myself that this kick could be accomplished, with all the variables that could take place in attempting this kick, the one I choose to focus on is the completion of the goal. To kick the ball through the uprights at a distance of 50 yards. I truly have not kicked a football since 1982. My entire preparation for this moment has been visualization, calisthenics, and placement. If I'm correct, then all will come together within seconds of my foot contacting the ball. Will I make it? Two weeks ago I was 100% confident. The confidence level has slipped to 98%, but I still believe that I can accomplish this. There's always an element of doubt that creeps in one's mind. The point is not letting that doubt overcome your thoughts. So here we are on the field of San Diego High School's Balboa Field, where I will attempt to kick the football through the goalpost at the 50 yard hash mark. This is my the combination of my experiment that you can do anything you set your mind to. And I've not touched a football with my foot since 1982 when I was in college at the University of Montana. My premise is that through mental preparation and through uh, visualization, you can pretty much do anything you set your mind to. Granted, you have to have certain skills, and I was a kicker, so it should just be a matter of visualizing placement and putting the ball through the uprights on my first attempt. What the? What just happened? Let's have a look. This was not how I had envisioned at this moment. Everything, everything I had worked for came down to this moment in time. And I choked. Oh, man. I did not anticipate that. I was very confident that I would be making this field goal. Was I nervous? Yes. I truly believed I would get up there, measure my steps, make contact with the ball, and the ball would sail through the uprights. Instead, what had happened was, once I knew I was about to kick the ball, doubt set in. Could I make this field goal? Was I the correct distance away from the ball? Would my left plant foot be in the proper position? Would I remember to keep my kicking foot straight? Everything I had told myself to do up to this moment went out the window. Pressure being off, I decided to try one more time, even though I had told myself this would be a one kick attempt. This kick was a little better, but it fell 20 yards short and to the right. Well, I really thought I could make it, but I failed, and I failed miserably. <laughs> Not only did I make the first one, I didn't make the second or the third or the fourth or the fifth. It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. When you have an object in front of you, I don't know, make contact, it just didn't go. I mean, all that mental preparation I did just kind of went out the window once I started taking those steps because then I started thinking about, oh, you just got to make it, kick it, use your strength. Urgh! And then it was a hump in the field and I was hitting the, the turf before I made contact, as you saw. And then uh, I figured I'd make the second one, but I didn't do that either. And I wasn't following through and I was looking, trying to see where it went when I told myself not to. So, all right, I'm good. <laughs> On to the next project. No, I really was not good with it. It's like playing a video game when you're getting your butt beat and you say just one more time <laughs> and you keep playing. Next thing you know, it's two in the morning. So I went back out the next morning and kicked the ball three additional times at a distance of 40 yards and I was consistent on all three attempts. 
it didn't meet my goal, but it made me feel a lot better. So, life is good. Here's one more for the giver. Thanks for watching. Wow.